Sorry. Just had to do it. Palmer. Hey, Sherry. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm okay. I was listening to the tail end of your last interview. Or were you now? You were eavesdropping? I was eavesdropping. That's what happens when they put you through so you can listen. Isn't that something? <laughs> anyway, well, that's okay. So thanks for that. Oh, God. This is TV. How about that? Hey. Like, yeah. Well, <laughs> this is actually just print, so no pressure here. Okay. <coughs> okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ask you quickly. No. <laughs> what's in store for Love Thy Neighbor viewers when the season starts up again this week? Love Thy Neighbor is going to come out like gangbusters. We're going to uh, address Linda's issues this season as far as her dilemma and her dating process and having issues with trying to find the right man, the right fit for just her. And then sometimes uh, finding out that what may be good for her might be right there in front of her, but she doesn't recognize it because she has blinders on from all the hurt. The hurt is like over this eye. And the disappointment may be over this eye and she's trying to see through all of that and she's not able to see what's good for her because of all of the blinders from the hurt and the disappointments from the past. So we're going to address Linda's issues as far as finding true love and maybe that true love may have to be found within herself. And all of the expertise that Hattie and myself are trying to give her in her, uh, in her plight to find love for herself. Okay. Sounds interesting. Okay. Well, this, I've noticed when I was uh, when I was looking you up online, googling you, I noticed there's not a whole lot of biographical info about you out there. Did you know that? No, I didn't. I have a website too. No, I know, but I mean, in general, there's just not a whole lot out there. Can you give me just a quick rundown on your history and how you got to where you are? Well, my mother and father got together, and there was this one night. I think it was right outside the uh, river, and they were in the back of a car. And oh, you don't want to go that far back. Um, <laughs> actually, uh, my mom and my mom, uh, uh, I, I come from a very small town, Camden, Alabama, population about 2,300. Uh, and that's including every dog, chicken, cow and cat. But uh, from there, I went on to uh, finish high school and and uh, had the um, disappointing aspect of, of, of when my mother passed away and having to move in with my aunt and uncle uh, in Mobile, Alabama until my father got remarried. Graduated from high school, went to Knoxville College, short stint in the Navy, and uh, sort of got the acting bug while I was in my senior year of high school and, and into college on a choir scholarship. So uh, from there, I went on to uh, join a show called The Good Man's Hard to Find uh, with the late Reverend David Payton and learn what to do and what not to do out on the road and eventually got to the point where I started doing my own productions uh, like uh, What a Man Wants, What a Woman Needs, and uh, um, uh, uh, just just a whole slew of, of, of productions that I had done and then eventually got to the point where I was doing a, uh, a liturgical dance in church and Mr. Tyler Perry was there and in him actually being there actually having his staff to call the church the next day and uh, uh, ask me to come in for an audition and from doing the audition six days later I ended up being on House of Pain and that's how the television career sort of started other than a short stint with uh, Mr. Robert Townsend in the Black Family Channel with a production called Playhouse 22. That was my first TV experience, and that sort of set me up to be ready for the audition that I had with Mr. Perry. And the rest, as they say, is history. Amazing. Okay, so I know that you have a gospel album. Which song on that album is most personally meaningful to you? Which is your favorite? What Good Would It Do? What Good Would It Do is a song about... Um, uh, a, a married man being faced with uh, an adulterous situation or the possibility thereof. And uh, the lyrics like on the chorus, like what good would it do if I lay with you, you know, ruin my life, my kids and my wife. You know, I just can't give in. I can't fall into sin. Uh, I'm going to say no to you because what good, what good would it do? You know, and a lot of that uh, has to do with some of the... Uh, the things that I may have even been faced with and, and trying to make a decision, you know, like the, the red or the green pill, you know, choose ye this day uh, uh, life, you know, or death. 
And that's basically why the whole premise of the, the Matrix is so biblical, because that's what it was basically, you know, based off of. Choose ye this day, life or death, you know. So I, I chose life, and that's why I guess now I have four children and a wife, you know, so, and a baby mama, that, and they all get along. So, you know, that's nothing but God, <laughs> that in itself. So I'd say that was one of my favorites. And then uh, Create Me a Clean Heart, the last song in the album, you know, was something that uh, when I made that decision to really let go of all the pain and everything that I had been suffering by making wrong choices in my life, and when I chose God, that's when everything turned around. So, you know, I was able to live a life that was, you know, more abundant. You know, I thought that I was doing everything right and, you know, by having excess of this and excess of that. But, you know, sometimes less is more to pull away from all of the craziness in my life and then have something that, you know, not being stressed, not having to look over my shoulder all the time and worrying about if, you know, if my girlfriend or my wife is going to find out about the other four or five girlfriends or something like that. I'm not saying that I had that. I'm just saying, you know, so those, those are the things that I, I've learned and, and that's why a lot of my life has been spilled out into that album and a lot of my friends. So, you know, it's relatable. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Okay, one last thing. Thank you. I checked out your Twitter feed, and I have to know, what's up with all the selfies? I know, right? You know what? That actually is um, sort of a joke with, uh, with uh, Demira Brunson, who plays Ju uh, Drew on the, on the show. She's mm -hmm. always taking selfies. So, you know, I'm the elder statesman of the cast, so I try to out-selfie her, and I do, like, the weirdest selfies, you know. You and, and plus, I'm just still getting into the whole Twitter thing and, and trying to be current, you know, and trying to be a, a young man in this, this uh, technological uh, savvy world with the Twitter and the Facebook and the Instagram and trying to stay connected with, uh, I don't like to call them fans, I like to call them friends of mine that uh, admire my work or, 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 or pay attention to my work. So I try to stay current and uh, Drew is like the selfie queen. So I'm trying to keep up with her so I can stay current with, with her generation especially. Well, you're doing a great job with that. Okay, oh, thank well, you very right. much. You I'm, so I'm, I'm gonna do another today. selfie when I leave. You know what, I should do one now, huh? I should do one of me doing an interview with you. Should I do that? Oh, no? totally, yeah, huh? do it, do it. Yeah, that's funny. So I'm going to do a selfie of you and I, uh, 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 especially with this beautiful canopy that you have over you right now, is what I'm seeing. So I have a, I'm going to do a, a <laughs> Oh, my God. So I'm doing a selfie of you and I. Okay. Did it go? There it is. So there it is now. Okay. And I'll send it out. Wait, I got I'll be it. it. <laughs> that is so okay, funny. Well, I just started to say, Palmer, I got to go because I'm going over my time slot. But thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you so much. And thank, thank you, you Sharon. Thank you for being such a great, um, oh gosh, thank you for being such a great witness to God. And um, it's, it's I wonderful. Appreciate that. And I appreciate that so much. Oh, thank you so much. He puts us on the platform to spread his word. Totally. All right. Have a blessed day. You too, love. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye bye.